I'm Dr. Toto from the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology. I am going to describe to you the soil of actometer. The soil of actometer has three components. The first component is the plant growth chamber, where you grow your plant, insect it into this stand, and allow it to grow for about five days for the roots to develop. The second component of the of actometer is this part, which is the nematode induction chamber. And the third component, which is the key to getting the olfactometer to work, is this component, which is the nematode collection chamber. I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble the plant growth chamber with the attachment of the nematode collection chamber so that the whole soil of actometer is set up. Now we take the blank, plant growth chamber, attach the nematode collection chamber, and this is how it works. We first insert the cup to the plant growth chamber, followed by the O-ring. And the next step is to attach the nematode collection chamber. Push it in, and then gently turn the black cup on and tighten it. Once this is secure, you remove this and then fill the nematode collection chamber with soil. Now you fill the nematode collection chamber with soil right to the top, level it up, and then attach a mesh screen which is the soil holding screen and tighten it up. That is about a quarter of an inch. Scrape off the rest of the soil and then you have a product like this. This is exactly what is attached there. And then you're all set for your plant growth chamber. Put it back in place. Now, this is very important to note. The nematode collection chamber, filling this with soil, gives you the exact amount that is required for for a four arm of actometer or a six arm of actometer. This is reproducible, it's repeatable, and it is really very important because it holds your nematodes. And the amount of moisture that gets in there is exact for all the various arms of the olfactometer. Now, this is the plant growth chamber. Uh, after the plant has been transplanted, um, you allow it to grow for about five to seven days for the roots to expand. You can water. And when you water, the nematode collection chamber serves as a drainage. Uh, you can always collect the water from the end of it. And once this has been growing for about seven days and you're satisfied and allowed for equilibration, you can now set up the entire apparatus by connecting the plant growth chamber with the nematode collection chamber to the rest of the olfactometer. That is the middle one, which is the nematode induction chamber and this is how it is done you first connect the cup attach the o-ring and then hook this up once this is done the next step is to fill the nematode induction chamber with soil and introduce your nematodes. <laughs> now, when you're done with the bioassay, you remove the plant growth chamber 
from the soil of actometer. Remove also the nematode collection chamber. Empty the soil into a tray. And make sure that this is moist. And then under the microscope, you can count the number of responding nematodes. Now, you may choose after the assay to collect volatiles, which means that you would need a special adapter for it. And this is this adapter, which you attach to the plant growth chamber. And the way to do it is attach the black cup and then the O-ring and then screw this up onto the black cup. The next step is to attach the screw cup. But before then, what you do is to attach your volatile collection trap. Now to do it right, the volatile collection trap should be attached in such a way that it's the other way around to the volatile the plant growth chamber. And this is how to do it. We attach the trap, the black cup, the O-ring, and connect this to the adapter. The next step after you've attached the volatile collection trap is to connect this to the vacuum source. And the way to do it is put on the white cup, the O-ring, screw this up, and this to the vacuum source. And you can collect for a specific time depending upon your type of research. This is the beauty about the soil of actometer. You can use it for various arthropods, not just nematodes, beetles, small insects that you find in the soil. It's a fascinating discovery. It's a fascinating apparatus. Give it a try. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it.